Meanwhile, Kofi Bento has waded into the ongoing debate over parliamentary privileges, challenging the lawmaking body to provide proof to back their claims. The senior vice president of Imani Ghana argues the only person who has absolute privilege in the country is the president. So I would respond based in law. Only the president of this country has immunity. That is number one. Parliamentary immunity was not invented by Ghana or Ghanaians. It is not our constitution that started that tradition. It came from United Kingdom and has a long history. Basically, it is about protecting parliament from the sovereign king. In this country today, we don't have a king. The sovereign is the people. So there is nobody to protect parliament from. That parliamentary immunity is a very narrow immunity for the performance of parliamentary duties. It cannot be reasonably said that a person 24-7, seven, seven days a week, is always performing parliamentary duty. So that fundamental issue should be made clear. Number two, the police have powers of arrest. And those powers are well circumscribed and you know, prescribed in law. And we think that we all must cooperate with that process. However, if there is some sort of confusion about the interpretation of Article 117, which is not a confusion that many of us see, the right place to go is the Supreme Court. We think respectfully that the police should be allowed to do their work, and if anybody has a problem, then they should go and seek interpretation from the Supreme Court. Well, the police has made it very clear that they are going to the apex court, the Supreme Court, to seek interpretation of Article 117 of the 1992 Constitution, 118 as well, that specifically defines the immunity of members of parliament. But even before this particular decision by the police, Portia was communicated to mm. us, the media, about uh, the decision to as well, go to the court of law, the parliamentary service had already issued a statement, in fact, a five-page strongly worded statement about what's been happening involving the member of parliament for Medina, Francis Xavier. So, so I'm going to take you through four specific points in that five-page strongly worded document uh, that the parliamentary service issued earlier today, which actually summarizes the sentiments of parliament. They say the right honorable speaker acknowledges that the members of parliament are not above the law. The issue is not that a member of parliament cannot be investigated or arrested. The issue is that the procedure to follow, to investigate or arrest a member of parliament is what the, the, the speaker indeed, parliament is raising questions about. Also, when you look at the next point of that's point six of this same document, the police service is a vessel of the constitution and a statute passed by parliament. It forms part of public services of Ghana and equally must not also uphold itself not above the law. When you look at the point 16 of this particular document, the five-page document from the parliamentary service, says Mr. Speaker reiterates that the immunities and privileges of members of parliament are not absolute, Portia, and the procedure for causing the arrest of a sitting member of parliament or serving a court process must be in accordance with the constitution. So what is the procedure? This point 17 talks about the procedure. The appropriate procedure is to secure from the Speaker of Parliament a certificate that the member in question is not attending to parliamentary business. Mm -hmm. 